Hi, I'm Congressman Steve Shabbat, founder and co-chair of the Congressional Taiwan Caucus and the lead Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee's Asia and Pacific Subcommittee. I want to thank Director General Johnson Chang for inviting me to speak at this important event. The U.S.-Taiwan trade relationship continues to be strong. Taiwan is our 10th largest trading partner and the destination for over $30 billion in U.S. exports. Our relationship grew even stronger during the previous administration, and the ties between our two countries are now at an all-time high. I believe now is the time to deepen our economic partnership. One way to accomplish that would be to negotiate a free trade agreement between the U.S. and Taiwan. We've talked about it for a long time. It's actually time to do it. Now, let me turn to the two themes of this event, supply chains and agriculture. As countries and companies look to diversify their supply chains away from China, they should look to Taiwan as a reliable partner with a skilled workforce and a commitment to democratic values. Further, Taiwanese firms export goods from several countries in addition to Taiwan. Working with these manufacturers to source goods outside of China will be even more important as we seek to establish resilient supply chains. And Taiwan is a critical player in the global technology supply chain. This is particularly so with respect to semiconductors, which serve as the backbone for our digital lives. As free nations look to maintain their edge over China in emerging technologies, Taiwan's expertise and cooperation will be invaluable to that effort. With respect to agriculture, I'm pleased that this event is being held in the Midwest, since this part of the country is a key source of agricultural exports. My constituents in Southwest Ohio and folks throughout the Midwest appreciate the importance of trade to our economy. With that in mind, I want to commend President Tsai for removing long-standing barriers to U.S. beef and pork imports. This decision will enhance market access for farmers in the Midwest and reduce the price of high-quality agricultural products for Taiwanese consumers. We should take every opportunity to expand our trade ties. Restrictions on pork and beef were major obstacles to negotiations for a free trade agreement. It's critical that the U.S. take the opportunity given us by the Tsai administration to reach the long-sought goal of an FTA between the U.S. and Taiwan and beginning working towards one right now. With that in mind, I will be encouraging the new U.S. Trade Representative, Catherine Tai, who was just confirmed by the Senate, to act immediately to reciprocate Taiwan's gesture of goodwill. As a longtime supporter of the United States-Taiwan bilateral relationship, I believe now is an excellent opportunity to build on our growing ties, including in the economic sphere. I wish you all the best and hope that the discussions you have here will serve as a catalyst for even deeper links between our two peoples. Thank you.